guys, this is Marie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you additional Montessori materials for preschool at home that I've recently received. And I will share with you how to use those materials, how I'm planning to set them up, and also give you some other ideas on our homeschool preschool room as I've been sharing in many of my vlogs. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Maria and I have two children. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. And on my channel, I largely focus on Montessori approach, Montessori at home, activities for kids. And this year, both of my children are staying home, so it will be lots of homeschool vlogs. Back in spring, I've also filmed the whole playlist of homeschool vlogs and um, how I incorporated different methods and play-based activities. So this uh, actually, in a few days, my kids are starting the school, uh, we're starting August 12th, and I probably will be filming the first day of school. And once we have a routine, I will share with you my routine because I'm also a working mom. And I uh, found that doing homeschool in the mornings works the best. So I will try to figure out the way, how can I combine my work and kids being at home and homeschooling. We also have a nanny. It is a journey and I am sharing it with you because we are all in this together in the same boat. So hopefully this uh, videos will be interesting for you. And if that's the kind of content looking, you're looking for, subscribe to my channel. And now let's get to all of my new materials. I'm very excited to share. So I will be starting on this side of the playroom um, because that's where most of my practical life activities are, where my son, who is three years old, will be spending most of his time. I've also set up this table here specifically for his practical life activities, where Scarlett is gonna have her own desk as well. Um, first material I wanna share with you is uh, this screwdriver and some bolts. Uh, it is very typical for a Montessori classroom and a lot of three-year-olds do spend lots of time in practical life activities that work on hand-eye coordination, focus, concentration. Also, all of the materials are always presented from left to right to train your eyes for writing and reading and it gradually gets harder. So typically like the bigger, easier objects are on the left and they progressively get harder to the right. So again, the screwing and unscrewing, uh, I've seen it, I think he will enjoy it and it's fine tuning his fine motor skills. Typically in a Montessori classroom for younger children, like the practical life area, there is um, several groups of activities. It is typically transfer work, which I will have something set up for that. There is also pouring work and there is also a uh, polishing, cleaning kind of work. And that work also um, develops understanding of sequencing of steps, completing the process which all of that leads to understanding a lot of concepts in, um, in the school in the future. So this right here is the uh, mirror polishing. Again, you know, it is a homeschool, so I'm not gonna have all of the materials they have in a typical Montessori classroom. The material comes with a set of polishing cloth. It has uh, a dropper bottle, also has a polish, it has a sponge, it has everything that your child will need as a starter set for a uh, the polishing of the mirror. I have specifically said the polishing of the mirror because I feel like that's what my kids will enjoy. Um, again, you know, there is also wood polishing, there is metal polishing. So it kind of, you can, I guess, decide in a typical classroom, you would have all of them and your child could gravitate to whatever they want. In a home classroom, you can pick and choose. It also comes with instructions, which was very important to me personally because you know, gives you exact steps on how you present the material. I will link for you the website where I purchased all of my Montessori specific materials. The other stuff that is not came from this website, I will mention it and I'll tell you that it's from Amazon. Try to link them all below in my description. My next new material that is also located in this area is the gear board uh, and mine is from Wugam. I will link it for you. It's actually really good quality. I am pretty impressed. So basically what it is, it is working on your child's um, ability to conceptualize certain things. It's like an example, right? Uh, you will ask your child to make an arrow and then uh, you don't have to show them, they can just do it and then you can work with them. But it also works on um, fine motor skills, like uh, you know the process of putting the rubber band on the pads requires certain strength in the hands and basically that's what it's working on for younger children is develop the muscles of the hand. 
this material came from Amazon. It had came with a set of cards and then numbered in the order of difficulty. So you can progress with your child into different designs. Both my children actually enjoys this one. Uh, it is one of those materials that you have kind of to do with them, I feel like, uh, because otherwise it becomes just like a fun project, which is fine. But I would say that the presentation of this material, I would definitely sit down and do it with my kids. This next material I actually shared in my recent day in the life and I got lots of questions about it. This is the loom. Uh, it's basically a weaving uh, device for the children. Comes the, here is like the best representation. Um, and you put the yarns, you loop them on the back here, and then you start threading. There's several projects you can do with it. Once your child masters how to do it, you can let their creativity take them wherever they want. They also come not only with the yarn, but also with pictures. So we did this turtle recently. So uh, it, it does say four plus, and I will tell you that Justin wasn't really into it. So if you have like a younger children who is not crafty, he is like, it's probably more for the children that do enjoy doing crafts. Uh, so my daughter really likes it. She made a blanket for her dolls. She made a purse already. She made this turtle. And it's something that uh, I would say you probably have to do with your kid as well. I felt like I've, um, like every time we sit down, it was kind of like us together time, which was really cool and great. But typically you see it's not set up right now. And if we sit down to do something, we kind of finish the project. So we do it all together from start to finish. Uh, again, it's from Melissa and Doug and I purchased it on Amazon. It actually, surprisingly, is very inexpensive. I think it's about $20 uh, for the amount of work and uh, creativity that it has in it. I feel like it's a great price. All right, we're gonna move on to my next area, which is more for my kindergarten age daughter. Uh, and it's lots of like phonetics, um, number works and stuff like that. So on this side of the playroom, I kind of have all kinds of uh, math materials. I have my team tans board. I have letter recognition, reading material. So all that is here. Uh, and I'm going to start with this set first. It is phonetic box, phonetic objects box one. And what it is, uh, if you are, are new to Montessori at home, I will tell you, we did this today when I was setting it all up and it was amazing how uh, Montessori method like really understands children. I've always found it fascinating, but actually doing this, it was my first time doing this kind of work with Scarlett and actually Justin, cause he sat through the whole thing and it was amazing. So basically it came in a box like this. It was nicely packaged. So right now it doesn't show uh, the presentation of how it came in, but there was in the box, it came with multiple objects and it's suggested to uh, start with like eight to 10 objects. So that's what we did. Kids wanted to do the animals first. So it has all those tiny little animals and it has cards. Cards are plastic. It's a very thin plastic that feels like almost like a paper, but it is, uh, and it has the words. The time for you to introduce this work is when your child understands every single sound, phonetics of the letters. Uh, so they are able to look at this and, and they're starting to read like and say pig and they match the pig. So it's, it's that, um, you know, time when they are starting to read, but they're not full on reading yet. And that's where Scarlet is. So it's actually timed so, so well for us. And it has many more objects. So we're doing the animals first. So basically I'm going to set her up and she's going to match the words by herself to the object. Um, a really fun way for the kids because they love small objects like this kind. And then, you know, she knows all of her letters, all of her letter sounds, and she's starting to read and blend the words. So she is, uh, that's like such a good time for her to do it. Now it comes with more uh, cards. I actually don't know how many objects are in here, but I think it's about 30. So it has a fan and it's all the small like drum, pot, pan, mop, hat. So all of those beginning sounds when your child is starting to read that are important are in this box. Again, this was phonetic box one. I've also ordered phonetic box two and let me show you that one as well. Actually, this is how it all comes in. Uh, this is the words, it's, you, you cut, up, cut it up. Then it has instructions on how to present. 
It has what is inside the box and has the objects all neatly packaged together and a set of two boxes, one for the cards and one for the object. Now this one is not out yet. It is because um, I think it's too early for us. We're going to finish box one first because this one works on the complex sounds like, for example, fish, uh, or pale or card. So when you are done blending the simple sounds with the first box, your child is ready for this one. And that's why I'm going to store this away until we finish up the, the first one. So my next purchase from the same Montessori website was this Miss Rhonda's Readers, eight books for beginning readers. I also have Bob books if you've been following me in all my vlogs. So this is a little different. Um, you know, it's always try, good to try different things. They're not as predictable as Bob books, and that's what I like about them. There is a set of eight books in here. And let's say this is Sniff Sniff, just an example for you. The rabbit snacks on grass, the fox needs a snack, sniff, the fox smells a rabbit. So it's repeating the same words and combinations. And then the second one that I've ordered, it also um, Miss Rhonda's cards. It's like a flashcards where you focus here on each sound. For example, here you work on the sound of jump, sun, rug, duck, bus, fun. So once you go through all of them, there's obviously a difference with the sound O, oh, and then you can start building up sentences with this One more thing I wanted to share is this book, Manners. Um, I found if you have not uh, seen or heard in my videos about the bucket filler book, I'm gonna pop up the, the video or picture here. It was amazing for Scarlett to understand how to make people feel better and what it makes to, what it takes to fill somebody's bucket and how easily you can empty somebody's bucket. So it was written in a very good way of giving children understand of an important concept. So this book I found to be equally as good for manners. We've read it a few times and uh, it just goes over what are manners, what are good manners, what very good illustration shows concepts. And we've read the whole thing and Scarlett was really, really impressed. The reason I ordered it is because I want to start implementing it like manners and court disease, actually part of the Montessori curriculum in the classroom. I have the two children, uh, their siblings, and when they're at home, they do fight. They do love each other and, you know, we work throughout the differences, but I want them to use the same kind of language they would in the classroom, which obviously homeschool and classroom environment are very different. But uh, I'm hoping that this book is going to help me with that and also set up an expectation. And today, instead of calling somebody behaving poorly or something, we said that that person didn't have good manners and we are striving to have good manners in our household. So I found this to be very useful. Well, this completes my video. I hope you enjoyed it and gave you some ideas. Come back for my homeschooling vlogs that are starting really, really soon. I will be sharing with you how we do our Montessori works, not only Montessori, also play-based activities I use. Come on, can never say it right. But again, if that's the kind of content you're looking for, subscribe to my channel, click the notifications button, and I will see you later.